Eh, siamo qui con Elias di Sonata Artica. Nice to meet you for the ah, first time yeah, here. Good to be here. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, how the tour is going so far? Uh, it's been, been good for us. and uh, We've been touring for a week now and we still have six weeks to go and uh, we have to try to enjoy our time. <laughs> so. Uh, and how the fans are reacting to the new song from the new album? Well, uh, I suppose really good because um, we like to play them and uh, they seem to enjoy the new songs. The new songs. Okay. Yeah, live, yes. Okay. And um, uh, do you think that some of the new songs mm. in, in the future will become yes. hits or uh, fix it songs in your set list? Mm -hmm. I suppose yes. And. Um, are changing, changing them, but right now we are playing already five new songs mm -hmm. or six. Five or six from the new So it's, that's quite huge amount of new songs. Uh, on the Specialized Press, uh, everywhere the new album is been really well uh, accepted. Everyone liked this album, it's really good, yeah. right? Yeah, that's really good for us. Yes. For us. Mm. <laughs> it's good. And, um, how, what about the, the two young bands? Oh, yeah, mm. the two bands touring with us is a good package for you. Is a, it's quite yeah. different. The, the, different. Yes, they are quite different from each other and for us too. So, um, but we toured with uh, Trash Beer before. They are from Norway, right? Yes. yes, and the Canadians are just. Uh, they are quite young and. They have a lot of energy. <laughs> Classic heavy metal. Yeah. For yeah, uh, what we saw yes. on the net. Yeah, yeah, and they are fun guys, and we uh, have been enjoying uh, uh, touring with them and um, having a good time. And uh, they are also over the next dates. You'll be together with Triosphere and uh, Striker. Or? Yes, at least Striker is doing the whole whole seven weeks. Okay. And then um, Thunderstone from Finland comes to the last leg of the tour. Okay, Thunderstone, oh yes. Thunderstone. Stone. Yes. Okay. Well, and um, about the new album, it's, in my opinion, it's mm. a, a, a bit different from the past. Of the lyrics and the, the atmosphere on the mm. album is maybe a, a bit dark. Mm -hmm. That's my opinion. Mm -hmm. And has been different. Uh, has been different to write it or to play it. You, you wanted to be a bit darker. It might, it might be like that um, because also when I play the songs, it feels like a little bit mo moodier, maybe. Moodier, yes. So maybe it's... also the the things. Mm -hmm. uh, it's about nature. It's about future, yeah. it's about environment. Yeah. So maybe we just start to be old <laughs> and <laughs> concentrating on different things in life. But I don't know, let's see what the next album will be. It could be totally or just a bit uh, different. <laughs> right. so you know, maybe know, but the, do you think that this new message maybe more, uh, it's, it's not classic? power metal lyrics mm. or things like this. Mm. Do you think that the fans are understanding this message or...? Well, um, I hope, I hope so and um, I think uh, because we have been uh, always a little bit different from everything else. I would, I would say like that, but yeah, I, I think so. Yes. Well, and um, uh, now after this uh, European leg of tour, mm. And um, you will do some summer festivals in, yes. in Europe? Yeah, we have uh, European dates or other festivals. And uh, also uh, in Finland we have some festival shows. And um, after that, um, uh, well, it's not completely sure yet, but uh, we are hoping to do, to do uh, uh, something in Asia, in Japan. Uh, Asia, and, uh, okay. Uh, but before before the summer, we are going to um, South America for one month in, in May. So it's going to be a lot of work for us. Traveling all the world, that's yeah. wonderful. <laughs> yeah, that's great. And uh, after so many years now, Sonata mm. Arctica is a 
worldwide band uh, so yeah, famous. Yeah. Uh, after these years, uh, do you prefer to play in um, venues like this one, or you prefer the the big festival? Well, I I like to play uh, smaller clubs because it's more intimate and uh, okay. uh, sweaty and uh, <laughs> you feel feel it, you know, more more than uh, in a huge um, uh, festival. It's a little different feeling. So. Maybe, um, you know, in a concert like this, everyone mm. is here yes, for you, well, yeah, in a festival, yes. but it, mm. it's good if you try to, yeah, yeah, to, 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 to get new win fans. Them, win them on your side, yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so. and um, apart from Triosphere and Striker, um, which band would you like to, to tour? A couple of bands uh, maybe mm. you didn't play before or you mm. would like to tour with? Yeah, Metallica maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I think uh, Battle Beast. We toured with them. They're from Finland. Yes, well. yeah, yeah, we know. And they're really great band and fun guys. So, uh, it's, yes, it's one, one that comes to mind. Yes. But we have lot of, lots of friends in different bands, so it's like uh, um, could be anything, any band <laughs> basically. <laughs> Uh, of course, we have to think that. Uh, and do you think that uh, Battle Beast in this moment is mm, as one of the new then can be preferred from you from uh, among mm -hmm. the new the new bands? Which one mm -hmm. do you think is, this mm -hmm. is a good new band making something new, something fresh? Yeah, I mean, uh, Battle Could Beast. You in, uh, can you say? Yeah, I mean, in, in that way, Battle yes. Beast is my, one of my favorites because they, of course. Um, they, they have lots of stuff from the 80s, kind of style 80s, and, um, um, but uh, it's fresh because, um, in a way, at the same time, it's something old, but it sounds new. <laughs> you, you, you played also with the Twilight Force? Twi yeah. Twilight Force. Oh, no, they are fun guys. <laughs> <laughs> Strange. They, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, they have their own, in a way, their, their own, own thing. Um, a lot of fun. A lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. And um, for you, uh, as a guitarist, mm. uh, uh, which has been your main influences as uh, guitarists or uh, bands that you grow up with? Mm, I, yes, I, first I started to uh, um, listen to Kiss when I was maybe eight years old or something like that. And then a little bit later I started to uh, listen to uh, Metallica, Anthrax, Slayer. And also the uh, guitarists? Did yeah. you like that? that yeah, their because style? I, yeah, I just practiced uh, along the, their, their music. Metallica, mostly. And there are, um, well, here uh, in Italy, is, there is the Hanoi Rocks. Hanoi Rocks from mm. Finland and Michael Moro. It's yeah. very famous here. Many, yes. many yes. fans here. And how, um, what do you think about Andy McCoy as a guitarist? Wait, here everyone mm. says it's strange. It's yeah, I mean, uh, when I was growing up, I was um, hearing their music quite quite a bit. And of course, it's completely mm. different. As a but there's Hanoi Rocks has sort of some classic stuff, so yeah. I, I sort of enjoy it. But I don't know, uh, nowadays, uh, see, playing a lot or not, I don't know. <laughs> no, we Michael Moreau, yes. Right? Yeah, of course. Michael, mm. yes, he's been mm. here. Michael played here, yeah. where you are playing tonight. Yeah, but Mi Michael is really uh, successful and popular in Finland, too. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's great. Also, the 69 Eyes from Finland mm. played here. Yes. Uh, many bands from Finland. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. And um, uh, in, in your career at Sonata Artica, you played everywhere, a big festival, a lot, many albums, lots mm. of fans. What, what has been, up to date, your big achievement for you? Mm. For you, uh, not for Sonata Artica, yeah. for, for you. Mm. Music-wise, uh, there's always... Uh, well... Uh, I would say that in general, um, it's just I've been glad that 
I still can't play <laughs> and I I need to and I want to go forever so that's a one could be <laughs> achievement it was nice to have um, ESP uh, guitar deal they have my own model made be made that was great but all in all in life I would say that children are quite an achievement I have two kids so two kids yeah, yeah. And um, for Sonata Arctica instead, mm. uh, next steps. Now you are a very a big band. W mm. What's your planning or program for the future to make Sonata Arctica bigger, mm. to, to enlarge your fan base? Yeah. Is it's uh, something, of course, that we uh, discuss at some times, and um, but at the same time. We feel glad that uh, we have this uh, certain level of success uh, uh, when we want to achieve maybe more fans we would need to of course think but otherwise uh, what to do and you know how to achieve them that fa fan base but uh, at the same time if you start to think too much and you don't do what you love and what is real so it might be a little dangerous a to little start to think yes. too much okay. yes M but maybe I, you if you mm. to get some new mm. you can betray the old one right? might be like that also oh, okay. but i think we just keep on doing and uh, we are um, uh, the band has been having a lot of uh, changes in members yes uh, it's something also that we need to to try to be friends with <laughs> each other. So that's important. Okay, and um, and we are friends. Of and course. you are friends. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. And um, what about the the way you write your music and you record it? Mm. Is uh, there is uh, a main composer mm. or every one of you brings ideas and you jam together? What the, no. the, the Tony, process? Tony loves to um, do um, uh, songs and he loves to compose and it's something that um, actually he does everything by himself and uh, he usually has really strong ideas and uh, he uh, let us know them and we, together we listen to them and analyze them a bit and then usually from there it's quite easy to start to record and uh, maybe change something and, uh, and uh, but it's a process that start from him uh, yes yes and uh, as for the uh, last album uh, we gather in the studio and um, he uh, throw the ideas on the table and we listen to them and from there we just start to record them and uh, as we recorded them we noticed of course that you know maybe something needs to be changed mm -hmm. and from there it was quite easy but okay. we basically recorded the album quite fast in a way that we usually did one song per one day huh. recorded the drums the guitar keyboards everything one song in a day. Yeah. Very uh, uh, Yeah, it was really almost hectic, but it was something. It was so nice because, um, um, yeah, to work together at the same time in the studio. So it was fun. Okay. Uh, in the end, for mm. the last question, uh, you played here in Rome here in uh, yeah. five, five years ago. Yeah, something I, like that. Yeah. In, in a place that's really near here, okay, okay. Uh, so Cabanelli is called a uh, yeah. rock fest. Yes, I remember. Um, but what's your feeling with the uh, Italian audience? And uh, mm. it's, I mean, it's been al always nice to come back here, and uh, I think people are smiley and uh, really passionate. So <laughs> yeah. uh, everyone, we are famous because we we are always singing. Mm, yeah, that's <laughs> like a stadium. Yeah, yes, that's okay. nice. Mm -hmm. Maybe too, too many years, five years, we waited for too long for mm. Sonata Arctica. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> might be, might be. <laughs> okay, for us uh, it's over. Thank, okay. thank, thank you. Thank you very much.